copyright app photo, Red Bull content pool, Mads Pilis President Donald Trump recently cancelled his official visit to Copenhagen after the Danish Prime Minister called his idea of buying the semi-autonomous island of Greenland absurd. Now the Republican Party has responded by selling t-shirts where the island is depicted as being a part of the U.S. The National Republican Congressional Committee NRCC, has started offering its supporters t-shirts featuring the island of Greenland within the territory of the U.S. filled in with the American flag, the NRCC website shows. The website was offering limited edition shirts for those donors who contributed $25 or more in a call to support President Trump and his efforts to make America grow. U.S. media suggested that the offer was a part of a fundraising campaign. While America Night above at 30A420162, August 22, 2019, Denmark and Greenland are not laughing. N O T H E R N A S T Y Water Wave at Nantside Montfit, August 22, 2019. Some even made reference to Trump's recent tweet where he thanked Wayne Allen Root for calling him the King of Israel, suggesting that Trump could name himself King of Greenland if his efforts to buy the island succeed. Who thinks Trump wants Greenland so when he leaves the WH in 2020 he'll crown himself King of Greenland? At Skittle Secretary of Diversity Barney's Nose 2020, at Marjek A. Naguan, August 23, 2019 The NRCC is not the only Republican organization engaged in fundraising activity by showing Greenland as a part of the U.S. with the Nevada Republican Party also advertising $25 t-shirts on Facebook where the U.S. and Greenland were seen high-fiving each other at the back. With the front saying, Greenland. This land is your land, this land is our land. Donald Trump recently cancelled his official visit to the Kingdom of Denmark via Twitter, explaining the decision on Danish PM Meta Frederiksen's lack of interest in selling Greenland, which is a self-governing part of Denmark. Denmark is a very special country with incredible people, but based on Prime Minister Meta Frederiksen's comments, that she would have no interest in discussing the purchase of Greenland, I will be postponing our meeting scheduled in two weeks for another time. Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump August 20, 2019 Last week Donald Trump confirmed his intention to buy the world's largest island due to its geopolitical and strategic importance, however, Danish authorities firmly rejected the idea, with Frederiksen calling it absurd. According to the Washington Post, the U.S. president has been discussing a prospective territorial acquisition with officials for weeks, suggesting that a $600 million subsidy could be perpetually allocated to Greenland if a deal were signed. Let's block ads. Why?